Haitians voted on Sunday to define marriage in the Constitution as a union between a man and a woman in the country's first citizen-initiated referendum. More than 65 percent of the electorate voted in favor, while 34 percent voted against amending the Constitution to include such a definition. Turnout was 38 percent, but since there is no turnout requirement, the vote is binding. The referendum cost Croatian taxpayers 50 million kuna. Sunday's referendum did not fall under the radar of international media. World media outlets reported that Croatian citizens had voted to circumvent the legalization of same-sex marriage and underscored that the initiative was heavily supported by the Catholic Church. They also noted that general interest in the vote had been very weak. While one referendum was underway, volunteers collected signatures Sunday on the final day of a petition drive for another, this one on the use of minority languages and scripts. The Vukovar Say No to Cyrillic Script Initiative wants to raise the needed minority population quota for official bilingualism from 30 to 50 percent of the population. The initiative's activists took advantage of Sunday's vote to collect signatures next to or near polling stations, which the Electoral Commission said impeded orderly voting. The group says they have enough signatures to initiate a referendum. However, Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic says such a vote will not go forward regardless of the petition. The wife of former Prime Minister Ivo Sanader, Mirjana, testified today in the Fimi Media corruption trial. Mrs. Sanader said that she had not witnessed her husband taking money from HDZ treasurer Mladen Barisic, as prosecutors alleged. Asked about her family's abundant assets, Mrs. Sanader said that her husband was a hardworking, capable man. The former prime minister allegedly orchestrated a plot which siphoned off millions from state institutions and companies into an HDZ slush fund. <laughs> Healthcare workers signed a collective agreement today at the Ministry of Health after months of negotiations and a drawn out strike by hospital physicians. The deal was signed by the Nurses Union and the Independent Healthcare Workers Union. However, doctors are still holding out. The head of their union, Ivica Babic, says he won't sign the document. The best of Israeli cinema will be screened all week at the Europa Cinema in downtown Zagreb. The annual Israel Film Week event was organized by the Israeli Embassy in Croatia. The festival opens Sunday with Rashad Levy's crime comedy Hunting Elephants. All screenings are free of charge. In sports, arch-rivals Dinamo Zagreb and Hajduk Split played to a two-all draw in the capital's Maksimir Stadium on Sunday. Dinamo have retained their leadership in the rankings with 37 points, while Hajduk remain in second place with one point less. The two teams' supporters, usually bitter rivals, were brought together this time by their mutual opposition to a new ticket purchasing system that is aimed at cracking down on hooliganism. Norway's Axel Lund Svindal won the Men's World Cup Super G in Canada's Lake Louise on Sunday. Second and third place went to Austrians Matthijs Meyer and Georg Streitberger, respectively. Croatia's Ivica Kostelic finished 23rd. Svindal leads the overall rankings with 200 points ahead of Austria's Marcel Hirscher. Kostelic has advanced from 9th to 7th place with 82 points. This afternoon's forecast calls for partly sunny skies for most of the country. Dalmatia will see this morning's rain tapering off. Light to moderate northerly and northeasterly breezes in the interior. On the coast, a high to gale force northeasterly. The day's highs will range from 1 to 6 degrees Celsius in continental Croatia and from 10 to 15 degrees on the Adriatic.